in my ass. Yo. Who say with that pump? Relay with that pump. Race. He say with that pump. What do you do? You fuck niggas pumps. What's up guys, this is Mr. Amazing, and let's get right into how you can get these effects. So, if you purchase the package, or if you have access to the free version that you can get at the link below, you're going to see a set of plugins. Now, if you have the free version, you're going to see a little bit less, but the plugins we have here vary by the sort of parameters that they adjust. So, PX means position X. PY means position Y, R means rotation, and S is scale. Now, what this second set of letters here determines is left to right, or right to left, down to top, which means bottom to the top, and then top down. And then you see we don't have these here because this is negative 180 degrees, and this is a positive 180 degrees. And what these on and off designate here is that for this particular plugin, you're going to be ramping on position X from left to right 100 pixels. So you're going to be ramping up as the, as the timeline plays along here. Whereas these off plugins denote that you're going to be ramping down. And what I mean by that is, if I have a particular clip selected, and I have my parameters here, what an on is going to do is it's going to gradually adjust, starting with the parameters you have here, it's going to ramp upward. Excuse me, it's going to ramp downward. What the off is going to do is ramp upward. And what you're going to need to do in some particular cases is you're going to need to nest your sequences because as you can see here, this particular solid is scaled down and if I apply one of these plugins directly onto that it's going to reset this scale parameter and I don't want that so I'm gonna need to go back and nest these sequences and nest these um, files here you see I also nested these pictures which I have demonstrated here so in application if you want to transition between clips what you're going to do is go from off to on and you're going to immediately get a transition. Now if you want, what you can do is adjust the keyframe here to something, um, some other parameter, whatever you'd like. And that's, But that's how you're going to get um, a transition of that sort. Now if you just want something to appear onward, suppose I just want this to appear, I can just put an on effect here and you're going to get a really nice, snappy on transition. Now, aside from shape graphics, you can also do this with text. So now, demonstrating the position Y effects, I can drag position Y off, or on, excuse me, off, then on, and I'll get something like this. Now say I want to make this transition longer. I can just extend this clip out. And you'll notice I'm going to need to drag this keyframe now. So now what that's ultimately going to do is create a smoother transition, but it's going to be longer, so maybe I just want it here, and now it, it's smoother that way. Now, if I want to do something like applying multiple of these um, plugins here on one particular file or clip right here, I'm going to need to nest the sequence again. So now if I have this nested again, I have another blank slate. So what I can do here is this is going up. Let's Maybe I want it to go back down. So let's go top down 100 off. And so now it's going to go up and then swing back down. Now let's copy this. And let's paste it. And let's apply a TD on. And now I'm going to get something like this. And that looks pretty nice. And these plugins can be mixed and matched in this way, provided that the sequences are nested. 
Now I could even nest this whole sequence and hell, apply an on transition and then apply nest it again and then put an off transition on. And I could do something like that. All that with just a few keyframes necessitated by means of these plugins. Now what we can also do here is use these plugins as almost transitions. And demonstrating rotation, I can take rotation negative 180 off and then bring in rotation positive 180 on. And I'm gonna get a smooth transition that way. And these same transitions, this rotation can be used with this text rotation or text plugin here. And you can also use it with these um, solids here. And you can also use it with video. So now going on to the video, what we can do is say we wanna scale upwards. Let's scale up to 200 off. And then let's say bring from scale 50 onwards. What that's gonna do there is again, create a transition. And a really smooth one at that. And we could use this for the text if we really want to. And create something like that. Maybe you want to do some kind of movie text scroll. Works perfectly. But that, in a nutshell, is how you're going to use these plugins. Now, there's many, many ways that I'm sure many people that use this plugin set can think of that I haven't even thought of. But that is going to be the basics of how to use this. If you guys want to send me anything you create with these plugins, maybe I'll feature them on the channel here and uh, we can do something with that. If you have any questions, please email me at mr.amazing.yt at gmail.com, and I'll be happy to share any answers to those questions you may have about these plugins, about my videos, or anything of that sort. Thank you very much.